So the Vikings buried people with all sorts of goods. The finest weapons, shields, jewelry, beads. They slaughtered horses and they sacrificed slaves and they laid them down in a hole or in a boat with the dead. They burned them the same. They buried people in great ships. They dug out burial chambers and they filled them with all the items that someone could need in the afterlife. And there's one thing that's really conspicuously missing in Viking Age Norse graves, and that's helmets. Uh, the helmet's probably the most iconic piece of armor and the most common piece of armor throughout history. And we know the Vikings wore helmets. They're depicted in art. They're mentioned in texts. But we only really have one reasonably complete helmet from Scandinavia in the Viking Age. Uh, the helmet from Girmanbu. Every time I say that, reenactment people start naming other helmets from the age. But Girmanbu is really it. It's, you know, relatively complete. Uh, it's in the right area. It's in Scandinavia. And all the others have archaeological problems or are too incomplete. And at some point in time, maybe in another video or something, I'll go over all those. But just trust me for a moment. Girmanbu is really it. In the Viking Age settlement of Birka, in Sweden, for instance, there are thousands of burials. There's a vast field of burial mounds across the island. Some small, some big, some cremations, some chamber graves, and we don't find helmets. Uh, really, there's just one little fragment of one that's probably foreign or something. In Hedeby, Haithabu, a huge Viking Age trading center, uh, no helmets. In the big rich ship graves in Norway, like Osberg and Gokstad, we find no helmets. In Iceland, where the sagas specifically mention helmets a bunch of times, uh, we find no helmets. So why don't we find helmets in Viking Age graves? There's a couple theories. So one, what if helmets were just not used? What if they just didn't use helmets? Maybe they didn't need to use them widely, or there are a few finds of helmets in Scandinavia because fighting was rare in Scandinavia. You know, this is, I guess, the basic argument, right? So text sources from the Viking Age suggest that fighting definitely happened in Scandinavia. They mention people wearing helmets in those battles, like King Hakon, whose fancy gilded helmet is mentioned several times in the Heimskringla, and he raids other places in Scandinavia, and they mention people wearing helmets. Uh, Arbrick from the time shows helmets, and well, we did find at least one helmet, and a few little pieces of helmets. Uh, the people before the Vikings had awesome helmets, and we have spectacular examples of helmets in migration era graves. And it seems very unlikely that Viking Age Scandinavia just didn't have helmets. Maybe helmets didn't survive. It's a common reason that we don't find a lot of things. Um, things just don't survive a thousand years in the ground to be found by archaeologists later, and they don't leave enough of a trace to be identified. You know, you don't find uh, a head of lettuce very often a thousand years later. The conditions have to be just right to preserve a lot of organic materials, and I think this is pretty easy to dismiss. Uh, helmets were iron, the same material we find in its many swords and axes, knives, spears, arrowheads, hammers, anvils, shield bosses, and we find items that are roughly the same size and shape and thickness as a helmet would be. Uh, so it's same material, same shape, same thickness, in the same conditions, like shield bosses, uh, the round kind of protector around your hand, and iron pots. We find those in Viking Age graves, but we only find one helmet. So maybe helmets were just too expensive to bury. What would make a helmet more valuable than a sword, or an axe, or a spear, or even an iron cooking pot? I, if they're made from the same iron, I, I've done enough metalworking to know that it really isn't more difficult to make a helmet than it would be to make a sword. The Vikings buried people with items that were surely more valuable than a simple helmet. Uh, jewelry, entire boats, living things, horses, all their equipment, silver. It can't just be about the value of the item because they're very fancy decorated items that would have been very difficult to make and very expensive that were buried. What if people just didn't need helmets after death? What if those going to Valhalla or wherever else they're going in the afterlife just don't need to protect their noggin? One thing that feels odd about thinking that helmets were not necessarily in the afterlife is that shields are very common in graves. But maybe shields are considered like a different category of protective item, an active versus a passive defense, or maybe shields are considered to be as much a weapon as a defensive item. It's hard to prove. I think this argument has some merit that helmets weren't needed in the afterlife, but it's difficult to support through evidence outside of the myths that were written down a century or more after the end of the Viking Age because we're talking about religion and the afterlife, topics that are really hard to show through archaeological finds.
So could a helmet be considered to belong to the inheritors of the estate? Or maybe even the property of the local lord that equipped the dead person? Certainly when someone died, they didn't bury everything they owned with them every time and wouldn't leave the family destitute. When you find coins in graves, usually you only find a couple or you see them modified into jewelry, not an entire hoard of straight up coins. Maybe there was a distinction between personal items belonging to the deceased and sort of commonly owned items belonging to the family uh, or the heirs. A helmet might have been one of those items, maybe something that belonged to the family, not to the person, whereas the sword that they buried belonged to that person. The last time I brought this question up in public, somebody suggested that maybe Norsemen thought that wearing a helmet was somehow not something to be proud of. Uh, like how children don't want to wear a helmet when they're riding a bike or skateboarding. Uh, there's no great argument for or against a theory that I can formulate, except that the texts make it seem quite common to wear a helmet, and great warriors are said to have worn helmets. Even images that depict the gods, they, they seem to wear helmets, and they're all supposed to be brave warriors, so I don't think helmets were seen as something unmanly or cowardly. So who cares? Why would we even discuss the issue of why there aren't many helmets in Viking Age Norse graves? Uh, the answer to that is that it provides context for everything else that we find in Norse graves. Uh, the living people that put those items in those graves made decisions about what to include and what to exclude. Uh, if helmets or other objects were specifically excluded from graves every time they buried people except once, that was a choice guided by something in their culture, whether it was frugality or tradition or religion or whatever, I don't know. It's a little window into a common idea and practice shared by these thousands of people spread across an uh, enormous geographical area. And furthermore, the ancestors of the Vikings, they did bury their dead with helmets. And so there were these beautiful helmets buried in giant grave mounds around Uppsala in the 6th to 8th centuries, um, about 50 miles north and a century or two away from the height of activity at Birka. And I always see these points of change as notable. They can indicate something important, like a cultural or religious attitude shift, or the presence of foreign influences. By the way, pretty much everything I've talked about here applies to body armor as well. We know they had it and they used it, we find some pieces of mail and lamellar armor around, but there's really only one suit of reasonably complete armor in Scandinavia from the Viking Age, and that's the mail suit that accompanied uh, the helmet from Girmanbu. I hope that was interesting and informative. Uh, that's really the end of what I want to talk about the next video. I think I'm going to do a quick rundown of the helmets from the Viking Age. Uh, I'm not really like helmet obsessed or something. It's just an interesting topic to me because it is a good cultural marker. You know, something important and fun to look at and pretty uh, that you would think would be buried with people. And they used to bury with people and now they don't. So I've always wondered why that happened. I have some ideas for these sorts of videos floating around uh, in my head and I've, I've had them for a while and this was really a test to see if I could do it. I really enjoyed making this and I wanna do more. Hit me up if you have any questions or anything, thanks.